Hi, in this video I'd like to introduce you to the new high-level library from the Langchain team, Langgraph Multi-Agent Supervisor. It's a Python library designed to help you create hierarchical multi-agent systems using Langgraph. Hierarchical systems are a form of multi-agent architecture where specialized agents are coordinated by a central supervisor. The supervisor manages all communication and task delegation and decides which agent to invoke based on the current context and the requirements. I also have a separate video on how to implement this at a lower level in Langref if you're interested in that. In this video, I'm gonna show you a basic example and also explain how the Langchain team built this small library so you can learn the underlying patterns. Let's jump into the code. Okay, I'm now in VS Code and here on the left, you can see multiple IPython notebooks. If you want to access the code, you will find the link to the repository in the description. So how can we create our supervisor agent now? First, we have to install Langgraph supervisor by typing pip install Langgraph minus supervisor. I already installed it, so for me it only takes some milliseconds. And after that, you can see that now we've got this new package installed. So I'm first gonna load the OpenAI API key, and then we're gonna create our first supervisor agent. So as you can see, we import chat OpenAI as our chat model and we use two helper functions, create react agent, which is from the pre-built module of Langgraph and then create supervisor, very similar to create react agent from this new package. And then we can create a few agents with tools and then the supervisor. So this whole works, we create some dummy tools, add multiply web search with some fake information about some fan companies. And here is our first agent. So this is a meta agent we pass the model as first argument, we pass a name of tools and very important, we pass the name of that agent. We also have to pass a system prompt and the system prompt is your math expert. So that's how you create our first agent and then we have a second agent, the research agent. We have now two independent agents that could perform, let's say research and math on its own. But now we want to combine that with the supervisor. So the supervisor controls both other agents. So we instantiate the supervisor agent by providing a list of agent that the supervisor will control, the model that we will use for the supervisor, and also the system prompt. So you are a team supervisor managing a research expert and a math expert. For the current events, use for current events use research agent, and for math problems, use the math agent. So this is how we create our workflow. Of course, we first have to run that line of code and then the supervisor. So now we've got our workflow. As in the normal Langgraph library, we have to compile that workflow or graph. So we've got our app, and then we can use the normal invoke method of Langgraph. But very important, we have to pass the object to the invoke method like this. So we have to pass a dictionary, and the key here has to be messages. This is because both the supervisor agent and the normal agent make use of a special class called messages state. So the messages state is a very helpful class from Langgraph to save and update the conversation. So we always got this list of objects, in this case here, a dictionary role user, and the response from the LLM is of type role assistant. We always got content, that's the message from the user or from the AI, and we got a list of that type of objects. So this is how the conversation is constructed. So we have to pass it in this way and this helper functionality updates this automatically. Okay, so as you can see that we now have got the result. If we have a look at that, we can see that the supervisor made use of the research agent. So if you have a look at the result, we can see the following. So the messages list was updated. So we've got a human message and the human message um, was what's the combined head count of Fang uh, combined. So that's the original question. And the answer is the following. So we can see that we've got an AI message with an empty string. This means that normally we've got tool calling. As you can see, additional quarks also says that we've got a tool call with this ID and here are the arguments. And the name for the tool is transfer to research expert. So what actually happens here is that the supervisor adds every sub agent as tool. And I think this is a great idea because it's very easy to extend on that. We don't have to define a custom prompt and the LLMs were trained to perform tool calling. So I think this, this is the best way 
to actually add the sub agents. And as you can see, this works pretty good. So the next message in our list is a tool message. And here we can see that successfully transferred to research agent. So this is where the transfer from the supervisor to the sub agent happens. Then the sub agent answers. The combined head count of Fang is as follows. And here we get the answer from the sub agent who also makes use of um, his own tools. Then we transfer back to the supervisor because only the supervisor should be able to answer the question at the end. And then the supervisor uses the answer of the sub agent to actually give the user a final answer. So that's the idea behind the library. And this was the example from the documentation. But can we also add our custom agents that we defined with Langref ourselves? Yes, we can easily do that. I'm going to show you how to do that. This is um, also an agent that we create. And very important here, we have to define a graph that makes use of messages state. Or we have to define that on our own, but we need that messages key because this messages key is shared between the agents. So as you can see, our low level agent also makes use of this messages key. Here we extract it from the state and here we update the state with messages. So next step is that we define our workflow. And here very important in the compile step, we have to pass this name argument. So this is how the supervisor agent will create a tool. It will create a tool based on the name of the sub agent. So this is only available in your Langref version. So if you get an error here, then please update your Langref version. Okay, now we created our weather agent graph and now we can use the supervisor. And here we add a sub agent, the weather agent graph, and we provide a prompt you're a supervisor managing a weather agent. Now in this supervisor agent, we got a new argument, the output mode. We can choose between two output modes, last message and full history. The difference is the following. Are we interested in all of the messages that are happening in the sub agent or are we only interested in the final answer from the sub agent? So if we pass full history, then we will get all of the AI and tool calls by the sub agent and if we only pass last message, then we will only output the last AI message of the sub agent. I'm going to show you that by example. So now we're going to use full history and we're going to use supervisor agent invoke. Hello, how are you? This will not make use of a tool call. As you can see, that's just the normal answer. But here we make use of the weather tool. And as you can see, we now got the tool message transferred to the weather agent. Here is the tool call of the sub agent. That is the AI message of the sub agent. And as you can see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine messages. If we comment that out and only want the last message. So for this example, it doesn't make any difference, but for this, it will make a difference. So now we can see that we only got the AI message of the sub agent, but we didn't get the tool message. So in my opinion, this should be the default. And if you're interested in the full history, let's say for debugging purposes, or if you want to check how the sub agent comes to his own conclusion, then adding the complete history of the sub agent might be also helpful. So as I told you, we're not going to stop here because I want to show you how this is actually implemented. So if you have a look at create supervisor, then we can see the following. This functionality also makes use of the create react agent function. So the create supervisor agent function also makes use of this higher level function create react agent. So this is no black magic or something like that. And the interesting part is here. So we're going to use this create hand of tools function. And this will make use of the agent name. As you can see, the tool name that we will create is transfer. And then we will use this normalized agent name, pass the agent name. And then we've got a tool which is transferred to, let's say if we've got weather agent, transfer to weather agent. So that's the name of the tool. And we bind that to our supervisor agent. So this is happening here. As you can see, now we've got a list of tools and we use the bind tools method of our model and pass all of the tools that we extracted here from the agent names. And then we're just going to use that as new model, which has now access to the tools. So as I said, no black magic here. Okay, that's it. If you're interested in the library, I will leave you the link in the description. It really makes sense to have a look at the source code 
to get ideas for custom high-level implementations powered by Langref. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.